Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to make a virtual machine. Virtual machines are good to try out new operating systems that you might have downloaded or any programs or viruses that you might have made and you don't want to mess up your computer because VMs are almost completely isolated from your real computer so what happens to them doesn't matter, you can make another one in a second and I'm here to show you how first you're going to need to download VMware Workstation this does cost money but I'm sure you can find a crack for it somewhere serial keys or something um, I got mine from the store so I'm not completely sure but I'm sure uTorrent has lots of cracks and serials keygens etc but there's also a free one called VMware Player that plays VMs or virtual machines, but I don't think it will let you make any. So find a copy of VMware Workstation. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Ace Edition like mine. It just has to be VMware Workstation. Another thing you will need that I'm sure you can find in uTorrent is an operating system that you want to install. VMware Workstation supports anything from Linux to FreeBSD to XP, Windows 7, Vista, just about any operating system. You want to download either the ISO from the Pirate Bay using uTorrent or if you have the boot disk that your computer came with when you bought it then you can use that okay first file new virtual machine and it'll pop up the wizard you don't really want to do custom because anything in custom you can edit later we'll just do typical to make it quick now here you can choose any operating system all the way from windows 3.1 to vista which um, Windows 7 isn't here, but it's the same thing as Vista, pretty much. And, okay, the 64 edition, not all computers support 64-bit VMs. You have to check up your processor and whatnot in the VMware website. But 32-bit works just fine. And today we're going to try out X Windows XP Professional. You can name your computer here. Uh, we'll leave it as Windows XP Professional right now. And the location, you pretty much just want to leave that what, what it is. Um, when you install VMware Workstation, it'll make a default virtual machines folder in your documents folder. Network type, you don't want to mess with this right now unless you really know what you're doing. I'll make another video later on teaching you how to make a VMware network so you can try out um, like hacking programs and stuff that work over networks like at school, work, etc. We'll leave that at Bridgeport net Networking. Your disk size you can change here. Now disk size as long as you leave these unchecked it really doesn't matter what it is it will expand itself according to how many files you put into it so if you really just leave it just the OS files it really shouldn't get much bigger so right now we'll leave it at 8 gigs and it's done okay here you can see all the specs for the new computer it's pretty much just like a blank computer with a blank hard drive and everything change the RAM now you really want to leave the RAM about minimum but decent because if you make several and open them up at one time which we'll have to do if you make a VMware network then you don't want to take up a lot of uh, RAM space because it still has to use your the actual RAM that you have in your computer. And
and you really want to take off the floppy disk unless one of y'all really has an actual floppy disk drive, which I doubt anyone has. Uh, again, you can change the Ethernet here. The number of processors you can change right here. I'll leave it at one, but if you really want it to be fast, you can change it to two. Again, this will take up uh, processing speed in your actual computer, so be careful because it'll crash your computer if you put everything up too high. Okay. Right now, what you want to change is the CD-ROM drive. If you have the bootable disk, the actual CD or DVD, then you want to change the drive letter here. It'll use the actual drive. Auto detect sometimes works, sometimes it messes up, so if you know the drive letter, you want to choose it there. If you have an ISO image, you use this.